Hey guys, what's going on? Accurate here. Welcome back. Got to go through some comments from the last video. Because I'm considering doing an about face here for Signal Hill. Now, uh, let me go ahead and pause it here so we're not running through calories or getting dehydrated or whatever. Or increasing our cabin fever percentage. First one that came in was from Jason Bellard. Keep them coming, Accurize. Keep them coming. I do love me some Accurize vids. Thank you. The reason why the viewers are telling you to go to the radio station on Signal Hill is twofold. One, just over the hill to the north, there's a chance of up to six birch saplings. Number two, the station, and this is what I really care about, the station has a chance on every inter run to have up to three unique items. Uh, Expedition Parka. I didn't think that was an interloper, but apparently so. Combat or cargo pants. And very rarely a pair of wooden thermal pants. Uh, I think he means like thermal underwear which I definitely need. Add on the possibility of quality tools, med stems, hammer, saw, coffee, tea, canned food, bars of food, uh, matches, or striker. Then head over to the dam. It has the possibilities of crackers, bedroll. Yeah, I know you already got one already, but leaving a spare in a dam could be useful. And another striker. So, and then Sakja says, oh yes, I always find great loot at Single Hill. So, that got me thinking. Maybe I should go back. Now, uh, Pest also says, uh, you can't not go to Signal Hill. It has the potential some of the best loot in the game. And then uh, Rorark K says, uh, yeah, it looks like he just did. So I'm going to actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and double back and head for Signal Hill. So we'll see what happens here. We do need to warm up first before anything else. And uh, let me take a quick look outside, remind myself exactly how cold it is. Oh, and foggy. And I think I hear, hear the uh, squawk of the uh, birds and the uh, the bear. We're not going to go out tonight. We're too tired and all that. We're going to sleep here tonight, and then we might venture back out that way. I think it's worth it. I did not realize that there was that type of high-quality loot in Interloper at Signal Hill. I knew it normally had pretty decent loot, like a rifle, almost like a guaranteed rifle. Or some ammo and things like that when it was uh, stalker mode. But since those, this is that's not in the game, it's, it's out of play. I didn't really think to go there for anything else, like clothing wise, because I always thought, like in Interloper, most of your clothing was crap to begin with across the board, everywhere. Apparently not. So, uh, let's see here. It's still a little bit early. We could bust up some uh, crates, I guess. Or actually, we could do some more reading. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get uh, some water on board here. Do some more reading until nightfall. And I think we'll go for the archery book next. Probably be the most important one. So let's find that one here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's use that. Let's start reading this. Pass some time. Probably get two chapters out of this. We'll probably be too tired by the time we try to do the second chapter. I don't know. I imagine you do get too tired to read. That's okay. Okay, so we're good there. I don't think we're going to read anymore because uh, we'll get too tired. So, um, you can look at what I'm carrying here. I'm going to ditch a lot of this stuff because we will be carrying up the signal hill. What I'll do is I'll eat here and then I will uh, ditch everything here and I'll make I'll come back to this house on the way out of town and grab what I really want to grab. But I don't need like two pry bars or anything like that. I will take one pry bar in case there's a... I can't remember if there's a... Uh, I think there are lockers there. I'm going to take one. Uh, don't need a hacksaw for anything there. Uh, those are the type of things that I'm going to leave behind. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, drop down our bedroll. Have a good night's rest here inside. 52%. Yeah, it's a, it's a rolling six-day uh, period, the cabin fever. So as these big days, like maybe six days ago, I had a, uh, a lot of time indoors cooking or something like that or avoiding a blizzard probably, more likely. Then uh, if that drops off, you'll see a sudden drop. And then, you know, if I have to spend time inside now, it'll go back up. So it's it, that's why it looks wonky. I know people are like, well, you didn't understand that? No, I, I knew how it worked. I just like to point out, oh, yeah, look at that now. It's 24. Oh, look, it's now 60. Okay, now it's down to 50. It just it looks silly. I mean, it looks so silly. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and eat. We already have a lot of calories on board. How many do we have? 700? Wow, we don't need to eat much. Maybe we can eat that little... <laughs> That's a little decoy piece. 
Uh, I'll keep that for a wolf, probably. I'll probably keep these two for wolves, if need be. So I'll just eat a real little bit there. All right, 949, plenty. It's going to get something to drink, and then we'll sleep through the night. And we'll head off in the morning. Um, what I might do is I might do my organizing now. Real quick. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do some organizing here real quick. Don't need this many matches. Let's drop these. Those. Those. Um, probably don't need those. Never have any problems really starting fires. Might need that coal for emergency heat. Yeah, somebody was like, hey, get rid of this and start carrying around old man's beard dressings. They're so much lighter. I'm like, no, never. It is like a pound and a half, though. I should do that. So when we get back to Coastal, we'll start doing that. We'll stow this somewhere, and uh, and we'll start carrying around old man's beard dressing. They are a lot lighter. It's, it's, I was just joking. I was like, oh, no, Big Pharma, baby. Got to stick with Big Pharma, even in these, type, uh, in, in these times. Drop a couple of those. I have everything I need there. I'm hope what I'm really hoping for. Thermal underwear. Some like nice warm thermal underwear, not the not the uh, cotton one with the wool. That would be wonderful. Yeah, of course we're gonna drop some of these here. 93%. I'll drop those outside. So they won't go bad as quickly. Oh. Okay, I guess I gotta go back inside. The bear's got me trapped. <laughs> we'll do it in the morning. Ah, oh, that bear just can't take no for an answer. For those. Uh, probably don't need a pot for the water. Don't need those. Take. I uh, will take one of those. Don't need that many sewing kits. Honestly, don't need that many arrows. Um take the uh we'll take the lantern just in case we get there when it's night and we want to look around I wish I could, I could always light up one of these torches. Well, no these this is free light that would cost something so drop one of those we're down to 56 pounds that's pretty good traveling weight we'll be happy with that so <laughs> let's let's get ourselves some sleep here retop ourselves off here with the the drink and sleep all right guys I'll see you in the morning Look at that. Our condition's really high. I'm loving that. Now, yeah, it's going to be cold. But we'll just have to... And there's a blizzard. Of course. Of course. I could eat some of the meat and study once the sun comes up a just a little bit more. Man, I can eat anything. I don't really want to burn through calories. Maybe, maybe it will let me study. I don't know. Do I actually care? Am I carrying my books? I probably don't need to carry those with me either. I wonder if it'll let me. Too dark. Okay. Still too dark. How many calories do we have? 113. Not enough calories. Let's take a look outside. Maybe I can at least drop my food out here. Without being molested by the bear. Okay, we got a little bit of food on us. I think what I'll do is I'll keep one of those little pieces of meat with me. I got this, I got that. That's not good. That's not good. That's good. So I got 600 calories plus some cattails. Eh. I'll probably take a, a little piece of that meat out there. as a decoy and I'll, I'll, I'll work with it because in interloper the animals become become more and more sparse so I'm not that worried about in stalker running around with meat is super dangerous because there's wolves everywhere and they run in packs so they uh you're almost guaranteed to ping wolves as soon as you step out the door it seems like but in this one it, se it actually seems like I get more contact with that bear uh, alright let's go to sleep for an hour I 
wonder why I'm not fully rested, actually. I'm kind of surprised by that. Okay. And we just went hungry. And the, the blizzard's still going. Let's go to sleep for another hour. While we can, at least, right? That's super bright. 53% inside. Alright, let's take a peek out here, see how bad it is. So, so hungry. That's in, that's in the sh protected area here. Wind protected area. Which one's the one I want to carry? I want to carry that one and that one. And I'll carry the 900 and some pound one. Well, I might as well carry the other ones too. Honestly. Might as well. I'll probably just end up carrying it all. All that meat. I don't think I'm going to need it that long, but you never know. I might get stuck up there in a blizzard for a couple days. Plus, I need to carry this bedroll. So. Ah, what the heck. Let's eat a little bit of this. There we go. And let's do some studying. So we're stuck inside. Not much I can do. God, there we go. So hungry in my life. There we go. Make 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 a little uh bit better use of the time there. Okay, we're down to 48 pounds, which is pretty good. We'll exit here, see how bad it is outside. So sounds like it's a little mm, still going. Sounded like it stopped, but not. What a wonderful way to start the episode. So you all are telling me, go for Signal Hill. The game's telling me, don't you dare. <laughs> I just like, don't even think about it, brother. Um, I should probably carry... I should probably carry... But... I might carry one more arrow. Just for good measure. 51 pounds. Well, that gives us about 15 pounds of carry weight. I think we'll be all right. Plus this two two pounds of uh uh two pounds of uh the bedroll here. Sorry, Draxus is interrupting the game. Stop it! I'm gonna have to like put you on a timeout or something. Okay. Um. Let's see if it has died. No, not a chance. Still going. It's gracious. How are you supposed to even play in this? Like, you can't go inside, you can't sleep. But you can. Uh, you can't go outside either. <laughs> sort of boxed into a corner here. Part of me thinks read again. How much. Now I can do it. I can do it. If I hurry. I have enough water on board. Let's do it. Let's read another chapter. I think it takes 150 calories. I think we can do it. Let's see what happens. Okay, now it's stopped completely. I should have like 20 calories. Okay, good. Pick this up. Be horrible to forget that. Now I took the cooking pot in case we get stranded up there and we need water. Negative 17. Time to make the best of it. Let's move. Okay. Don't forget to stop at that house on the way out, that's for sure. Signal here, Hill, here we come. Underweight. Moving quick. Negative 14. It is still morning, though. Uh, at least our condition's pretty high. Now the question is, should I go around Signal Hill and up that way? Or should I take the rope? I think I go around. Because the rope is going to make me super tired. Hmm. Decisions. It's okay, I have a flare gun. I got three flares. If I need to, I can shoot my way out of this problem. But first thing is, we'll stop off at the uh, 
the barn warm up. That is the first thing that we gotta do. I think I'm gonna chase this deer this way towards the barn. There we go. Oh, he decided to take a detour. That's okay. It's just too cold for words, man. Makes me just want to get inside quick as possible. Salvation. Oh, good. Man, it seems like that is just a really tough little run right there, and it's really not that far. Weather is just so bad. All right, we'll eat a little bit and do some more studying. We can get rid of that book. Someone said, look at this truck bed really good because there's normally loot down here. Almost like it's like hidden. Like you won't be able to even. Ah. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> so yeah, they say pretty much pretend like you're, it's dark and you just search it around. And look, there's almost certainly tools. Or not tools, but some sort of item in here. So that was it. Some simple tools. Okay. Well, that's always good to have. <laughs> Imagine if you were desperate for simple tools and you were looking all over the place, you couldn't find them. And it happened to be like right there under the snow. Oh well, we got them. Thank you. I do read the comments. That's how I learn. Okay, let's see here. Um, Reading. Yeah, I need to eat. I'm planning on doing that, so let's take a little bite of something here. About an hour's worth. There we go. That should be pretty good. Let's get a drink. Going on water. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to make some water when we get up there. So in the meantime, let's. Uh, I could have dropped this quality tools off back there as well. Could drop them off here because I will be stopping off here again. So what I'll do is I'll I'll put them right here. We'll have to hit the barn. And we'll have to hit the barn and and, and uh that house again anyway, just, just from the temperature will force us to come through here anyway. So those will be there for us for pickup on the way back. In the meantime, let's do another hour here. Wonderful. Is that book done? I think the book is done. Yep. All done. We can drop that. Leveled up a little bit there. And let's go ahead and we're not quite ready to move yet. I should have done my reading inside the truck. Because look, 49 degrees here. It's going to be like 10 degrees, 20 degrees warmer in here. Yeah. I should have done it in here. I would be uh, warming up, warmed up by now. But, uh, so we could probably read. I think I had the other book, didn't I? Or did I leave that I think I left the sewing book back at the house. It's left. Yeah, okay. No worries, no worries. Well, heck, if we're going to need to pass time, we might as well do it here, and we might as well jump in our sleeping bag at the same time. Pass time here, real quick. Here we go. Top it off. Hop out. Let's get going before the weather changes again.
gosh, it's bright out here. Wow. Yeah, I could, my brother could get snow blinded out here. Okay, let's move. Cold. It's hard to even see the hills that I'm climbing up and down on here. The rabbit. Pretty much running as the crow flies towards Signal Hill. Already a third of the way to hypothermia risk. I will die if I don't get food soon. Forget food, man. It's not that's not your biggest concern. Your biggest concern is obviously cold. I thought that hay bale was something else. More sinister than a hay bale. Oh, here we go. Break in the fence. Perfect. That looks like a deer. Colors are right. Yes, it is. I could use that deer. Right now, actually. All right, signal here. Here we come. Oh, I hope this was a good choice. I hope this was a good life decision. I do have plenty of food to drop in case I need to decoy. What am I dropping? Smallest one. Well, let's not leave that there on purpose. Let's take it with us. Damn. I have seen a bear patrol this area before, but I'm willing to use a flare to get through them quick. If need be. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. I could probably climb this rope. I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the rope. There's the bear. Man, son of a gun. I think he's coming after me, too. Probably because of all the, the meat I'm carrying. All right. Because I could, I, I think I'm going to dodge the bear this way if I can. rabbits we're gonna go this way and then up and around at least we know where the bear's at yeah we're gonna go up and around faster and uh not through the bear yeah he was coming at me because of the meat I'm carrying I'm almost not no no he's not no he's not he's just heading that way okay so, I don't know if you guys saw him, but yeah, there he is. He's still walking that way. He just happened to come directly at me. Out of the 360 degrees he could possibly pick on the compass roads, he decided to go, you know, exactly the opposite direction of where I was heading. Okay. Alright, so... We're up here, guys. Hope you're happy. So far, so good. Honestly. I hope this was worth it. I really do. I think you guys are going to be right. You guys normally are. Normally, you guys are perfectly correct about these things man talk about the place the last place you want to get caught in a blizzard not being able to sleep inside at the top of a hill in pleasant valley right yeah, i normally come in this side this is my comfort zone over here there's our farm homestead save a little bit of sprint in case i need to get evasive over here Right now, I'm at such a close range, I'll probably end up just shooting a flare straight away if there's anything that tries to get me here. Died. Okay. Oh, boy. 
Okay, so cedar firewood, wonderful. We have a burn barrel out there, which is nice. I guess you could do probably, you could probably live up here. Be man, it'd be kind of hard though. All right, guys, we made it. I'm glad I brought the pry bar. <laughs> Start with these. I'm gonna move slow through these, and please bear with me. I just don't want to miss anything, like I inevitably do. Because a man has got to know his limitations. Bonus points for if you can tell me what movie that's from. Oh, sewing kit. Okay, we'll take that. Probably something under there. Probably will break that up. I'm just gonna work my way this way. Don't strike me out on this. It's alright, it's gonna be a much quicker trip dip back down. If need be. But we're already starting to get tired. So we'll stay the night here. If we're striking out big time. What if I need it? What we got in here? Herbal tea. Oh, Peaches. 9%. I'm leaving that. 0% leaving that. <laughs> I could probably take both of those actually. Eat them later. Once I get my cooking level up to 5. Work boots. Don't need them. Fortunately. Unfortunately. Oh, come on. A flare. Oh, what's this? Combat pants. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll start working on those right now. Well, that was good. That was a good find. That was a good find. Oh, that's a nice jacket. That's a really nice jacket. Nice jacket. Okay, it was worth it. All right, all right. Nothing up here. I was hoping for a rifle. Like <laughs> You guys would be like, you're not playing interloper. Cheater. Ain't nothing there. Okay, all right. Well, let's, let's try bust. Well, let's start sewing some of this stuff up first. Let me see here. What my jacket situation look like? Yeah, we're going to get rid of that down vest you guys all wanted me to get so bad. Yeah, I spent all that time repairing. Um... Mackinac jacket's gonna be so much better. So let's uh just wait. Just wait till you see. I love this thing. Forty percent waterproof third versus thirty. Five armor versus three. And it's only forty five percent condition, right? It is a little heavier. But man, yeah, we're gonna throw this on the outside as well, so we'll be style and profile. Okay, well, not wear it. I mean, I didn't mean wear it right now. No, you wear that one. Then I'll work on this one. So, next question is, do we leave now and head back? I say we go for the barn. And get the heck off of this hill, in case a blizzard sits in. Because then at least we can cook inside the barn. Then again, we can cook outside here in case we get into trouble. Oh, decisions. I think we're more flexible if we go for the barn. Let's get out of here while well, it's still light. Okay. Had I known it was going to be this easy, I would have. Yeah, there's sometimes stuff down here. Oh, we're not even that. We can go to the we can go to the farmstead homestead. Let's just head down there. For the night. Plan on that. The bear should be away from us. Where's our where's our rope? Did I miss the rope? Eh, must have. Down here. Can I just I can run down this? I didn't know you could run down this. Apparently you can. I had no idea. Sort of a safe way to go. There's the bear over there. Now there is a cave down there that sometimes has something in it, but that bear is all over it, man. So I am not going to fiddle around with it. I just want to get out of here. Let's grab some repair sticks in case we need them. We should have seven or eight sticks already for our uh, 
Are we gonna make it back before we get froze? No way. No way. We can't let that happen. We gotta get a little bit... We gotta get a little risky with the hypothermia. Wolves out there. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Hey, hey bunny. Oh, shoot, another bear? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, god dang it, dude. Bears everywhere, so... Okay. It used to be when they first introduced bears, it was just one bear on the map. Now it looks like they just put bears everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna have to flare this bear, I think. Flare this bear in the air. Is he gonna be on me, or is he going away from me? We'll see. It all depends on where he's heading. Okay, he's still walking that way. That's good. I do have a lot of meat on me. I'm surprised he hasn't turned on me. Um, I know these. I think these wolves are coming after me though. Maybe. Well, they won't mess with me too much if I have a bear. I should probably get the bear to follow me in as a as an escort. But these wolves will start coming at me, probably. I'm gonna try to build up a little bit of speed here in case I need to run, but I should be fine. If I can make it through this without using a flare, that would be great. And here we are, back at the farm homestead. Okay. Alright guys, well we got some mending to do. And I'm gonna drop, a, drop some of the meat outside here. Take a look at our shelter, see how things are. There we go. And we got some water to cook as well. I have a pot out here as well. So. Um, I can do some water inside. Well, ooh, I can get a fire going for free as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a little fire going here. Actually, hold on. Let's warm our bones up before we do anything. Yeah. I'll get a fire going outside. Then I'll bring it inside, and I'll let the water cook, and I'll mend outside in the shelter uh, with a little fire going out there, hopefully at the same time. So it should be nice. So anyway, let's just uh, warm up here for a second. Might do something. I might actually break up something here. I don't know. Oh, well, I'm back, guys. I'm back. What are I leaving here? Cans. Some wood. That's good. Take that. Need that for outside. Oh, there's a the water. Okay, I got lots of water. It's not not crucial anymore. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay. Forgot about that water. What a nice find. I love it when I leave myself little presents, like little Easter eggs. It's nice. So, what I can do is I can get a fire going outside by the uh, snow shelter. Do a little mending out there. Might do it at night time. That might be better. I can just duck in and out as need be. And this, this bear is just all over this area right here. I have to wonder if it ever really leaves. We got one bear here, one over there. Then one back there that we had earlier. So we've had three bear sightings. Different bears in this one episode so far. Oh, and my wool socks. That's right, you guys said it was downstairs in the bathroom next to the toilet, so I can go. Okay, was it down here? Oh my gosh, they were. They're in pretty good shape too, they're not ruined. Awesome. Another something we can heal up. Okay, so we'll just kill some time until, until nightfall. We'll get a nice little fire going out here. And uh, we'll do some repairing. I gotta go in here in a second, though, to warm up. Okay, there we go. Have to do it. Alright, since I'm starving, might as well bust up something. Something out of it. It's gonna be way too long. How much is for this? 49 minutes? Yeah, we'll take that. Help wear us down as well. I wonder if I can... I think I can mend even, even if I'm completely exhausted. I don't think that matters. I should have plenty of fuel to get through a, a 
cold night. Here. Fire, there we go. 12 of those. Yeah. That's that's not too bad. I could use a little bit more, actually. Two of those. And maybe one of this. An hour and 18 minutes? Sure. We also have a cedar wood as well, so... We should have plenty of wood to make it through the night if it gets super cold outside. We can always spend a couple hours inside too if we need to. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I didn't think about it. I'm not going to get a free fire now, though. That's okay. We'll, uh... Ooh. Now, can I, can I get a torch lit long enough to, uh... Or is this going to just go right out? I think the torch is going to go out right away. I think I have to use a match on this. Now I kind of wish I brought an accelerant. But that's okay. Negative 42. We should be alright. I don't think I could get a torch going. Because I think it's going to go out as soon as I get it started. So I think I have to use a match. I think this is actually the safest way to do it. Alright, let's do it. 85% chance at least. What do you guys think? Do you guys think if I tried to get a torch going, it would have just immediately blow out, given the wind? There we go. Nope. Let's get this going a little bit here with some reclaimed wood. Now remember, last time I way overkilled it, so I'm going to do like seven hours. That should get us through the whole night. Plus a coal. That should be plenty. Temp is going up fast. I'm gonna get something to eat here. Bring it over here. Okay, I'm gonna drop it out here. Not ready for it yet. Not quite ready for it yet. I always worry about dropping it as a decoy in case there's somebody already on me. Uh, one, uh, one of those already on me. Now we're starting to warm up. Okay. Plus we can always get in this shelter too. How much is it to repair? Three sticks and a cloth? Yeah, let's go ahead and repair it. Let's use this thing. See how warm it is inside. 72 degrees. Look at that. All right, now, I think it's time to... I don't need a drink. I could use a drink. Okay, we'll take a drink. I'm going to do a little bit of repairing here. For a little while. I at least want to get that jacket repaired. And Well, these pants, probably. Both of those. As we warm up. Not even having to use the coal right now. 62%. Let's do it again. Nice and toasty. Feeling good. Okay. So these are like three and a half, or 3 and 3.3 degree warmth bonus. Let's put those on the right spot. New jeans. Get rid of those. Those are 60% waterproof. These are like 20, so we'll put those on the inside. There we go. Make sure they're on the inside. They are. That's good. We'll drop those jeans when we wake up. But that's alright. And now we're going to work on our jacket. It's going to take 53 minutes to repair this one. There we go. We're out of cloth now. But we're up to 80% on the jacket. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Put that jacket on. There we go. So now we're up to 31 degrees warmth bonus and 14 degree windproof bonus. So yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. What do we have before? 1.5? Was that 29? This one brought it up 2 degrees by itself. I love that. And we want this on the outside, don't we? So, let's actually... Here, let's actually take this one off. Put it on over here. And put this one on here. There we go. I think that's the way we want it, right? Yep. 
Okay. So there we go. Alright, how much time do we have left here on the fire? Just want to double check it. Five hours. Alright, might add a couple of reclaimed wood. Just for good measure. Should be able to sleep for a solid ten hours here. Let me grab my food. Should have ate it. I should have ate it right from there. Drop what's left. We have 659. Not quite enough. There we go. Now let's try it. 802. That's about right. Okay. Hop back in here. Plus, we get the sleeping bag bonus, I think. You get to sleep in your sleeping bag? I think so, yeah. So another seven degrees. On top of that, it's gonna be good. All right, let's get something to drink here. Yeah, we'll sleep for 10 hours. We should be just fine. Actually, I'll, yeah, I'll sleep for 10. See you guys in the morning. Thank God for that fire fire skill, right? Look at that. What a beautiful morning, guys. One hour and 49 minutes left. All right. Well, appears to be a nice day. A little bit, little bit windy. Could take a take a torch out of here, I guess. Can you eat trees? Take that with me. See how cold it is when I step away. It's probably going to be super cold. Negative 59 degrees. That's cold. I like it here so much better. I don't know what I did to deserve such a nice hot fire, but I'll take it. And we could do some repairs while we're out here. Uh, first, I need to get... I guess I need to get some cloth. So let's go do that. We need to repair those wool socks. That They won't take very much. I think it takes like one cloth, and we should be like at 100% with those so let's just grab some curtains and get out of here team minutes for three teen and another 15 there we go so we got six that'll be plenty that'll still leave us five cloth in case we need to make an emergency snow shelter and we'll grab that meat before we go as well Looks like the sun's going to be nice and bright in case we need to start another fire. Might as well get in this shelter, right? Might as well use it. 87 degrees in here. You gotta love it. This is thriving, people. I love it. So, yeah, thank you guys. Very good idea to go back to Signal Hill. 40 minutes. I think we had that much time on the fire, didn't we? At least. Oh, yeah. And that's not even an accurate representation of the amount of time on the fire. So we should have probably half an hour left by the time we get done, at least. Oh, you hear, hear the wolves running off? Yep. Let's make sure we don't run out of fire, because that, that fire is scaring them off right now. Oh, we failed? I don't expect that. Three minutes. Barely took any time, actually. Still uses. All right, let's try again. I wasn't expecting to fail. There we go, hundred percent. Put those beautiful socks on. And it's okay. We're gonna take a torch out of here. Good one. Let's start walking. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I think we're pulling wolves close to us, so we're going to keep moving. I do want to put the socks on. I just want to get away from those wolves first. While I'm stinky-ish. Now we can try. Matters. Those are 71%. Those are 72. It doesn't really matter, does it? 
No, no, don't harvest. Wear them. There we go. There, now your feet feel better. Keep moving. Well, we hit Signal Hill, as much of you guys, many of you guys wanted, and uh, I'm very happy. Very happy. Thank you. I know I've already said it once, but thanks again. Alright, if we get into a wolf situation here, I think I'm just going to start a fire. Scare him off. Deal with him that way. And we're just going to run across the field here. I'm going to lead with this deer since we got him. A couple deer. That's good. Alright, we should be alright. Now, can we make it to the barn without having to... Uh... I wonder if I can get there with one torch. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I think I'm going to play it safe. There we go. Play it safe. I mentioned I hate the fog. At least we found it. That fog is sucks. Ugh. It's like negative four though. I'm not running away from the bar, am I? I don't think so. I think I'm running towards it. I wonder if I ran away from the barn. I think maybe I did. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that I did. Okay, we'll head back. Now if there's any wolves trailing us, uh, they're definitely going to reach us. Worst comes to worst, we head to the road, and then we head to, to the, to the uh, house that we were at, the store, that area. Oh, you know what? Are we at the, uh, I think, I think I know where we're at. Oh, here it is. Okay, good. Okay. Definitely did head the wrong direction there. I should have intentionally missed to the right. That would have been a smart play. Let's see if we can use, still use this torch, hopefully. Uh, come here, where are you at? Yep, make it happen. Should have used the uh, some of the twigs. It would have been a better percentage chance on a low burning torch. Hopefully I don't get punished for my oversight right there. Looks like we're good. Good, now we can get another torch out of here once we get warmed up. Plus we'll warm up faster. Moving again. Oh boy. Well guys, looking here at the time, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump out here real quick, jump back in, just to save it. 
end this episode here. It's been a really good episode, I think, for a, you know, sort of a patching up mistakes that I made or a poor decision I made. I think it turned out really well. So thank you guys for the help. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Y'all take care.